Okay, so I was just taking coffee, then I am thinking, mm, uh, seeing the shape of the coffee, I was thinking, what if I will do a discussion about um, analytic geometry or geometry? So here we are, so we will just have the overview of conic sections. So the the conic sections or the knowledge of conic sections is very important especially if you are taking engineering so it is usually um, usually discussed as part of the analytic geometry and it is also used in integral calculus um, differential and in other parts of engineering no? other subjects of engineering so we have here pictures so these pictures are the applications of the conic sections or this shows the applications of the conic sections for example this one this shows the of course this is our solar system in which we know that as of now there are only eight planets left and i believe that will be the final number of the number of planets in our solar system except if someone will say that neptune is not counted or maybe it could be nine if the we will say that Pluto is again a planet okay so as you can see this is the orbit of the uh, the orbit of the planets the orbit so the orbit of the planets is often described using the concepts of conic sections now this one also this part here so that is the that is a satellite dish so if you notice the shape of the satellite dish so that that shape can also be described using conic sections and i believe a certain shape or a certain conic is attributed to this um, satellite dish and below we have this loran or long range navigation system which is um, very useful in in low in locating um, certain uh, ships or vessels or airplanes in uh, which is very um, precise so if you see here this has a certain shape on it or a certain conic on it which the properties will be also described using the concept of conic sections okay so before we go deep even further to the discussion on conic sections so we'll just try to see or try to review or for those of you who are new about conic sections try to know how this concept um, materialize so the first one to study conic sections is a Greek uh, geometer and astronomer up Apollonius of Perga. So in here we have this the face of the uh, of of Apollonius, and this is his book, the books one to four. So this is uh, already um, translated into the English version. So in this book, he described the properties of conics, how to get the conics, and and how to describe each one because each conic has its different identity. Okay. So, in his uh, book, he described that a certain conic section or a conic section can be derived by, ha by having a double right cone. So, let's just draw over here. And I believe I have a picture later to show you. So, we have this one. So, assuming that the drawing is um or the two cones are equal okay so we have this one then this uh two cone for example you will draw a line here so let's have a another color a line here passing through this one so passing to the vertex so this line is called a generator this is a generator 
So, generator. So, by definition, so generator is a line lying entirely on the cone and passed through the vertex. So, the generator is a line, this line, which lies entirely in the cone, so the two cones, and passes through the vertex, wherein our vertex is this one. So, this is our vertex. Okay, so what is the purpose of the generator? So, the generator will serve as a guide or will serve as the point in which we can slice the, the double right cone in order for us to achieve this the, the different conics. Okay, so, for example, according to him, if we cut the conic section in parallel to one uh, to one of the uh, generator for example this is our generator here this one this line let's have another color for that blue so if we cut a certain plane for example we have a plane so a plane surface on that so this is just so this one so if we cut that one so that part if we cut that part so which is the cutting plane is parallel to our one of the our generator so the cutting plane or the result will be a according to him will be a parabola so we we'll just write this one like this like the orientation of our um, conic section and if we cut if our cutting plane is not parallel so it's not parallel to our generator then also we will be um, alive within with an ellipse so for example our cutting plane is this one so let's have this one in red in red ah, green sorry sorry red so we are using red so use blue or violet okay so if our cutting plane is this one and it is not it is not parallel with our generator which is the red one so we will be our the shape that we can get or the section that we can get is in ellipse okay ellipse now if our cutting plane is perpendicular with our generator so this is perpendicular with our generator this one so we will have a shape of a raconic section of a circle now, if our generator cuts um, cuts two parallel generators, for example, if our cutting plane is this one here, this one, so it is it does not pass through the vertex. So our we will arrive with a shape of a this one. We will arrive with a shape of a hyperbola. So again if the um, plane cuts in parallel of one of the generators so we will have a parabola if the plane cuts not parallel to one of the generator so we will have in ellipse this one If the cutting plane, this one, cuts perpendicular to the generator, so we will end up with a circle. And if the cutting plane cuts in parallel with two generators, then we will arrive with a shape of a hyperbola. So those four basically is the uh, the conic sections. So conic sections. So we can also try to cut this one. Let's use the black one to the vertex. So if we if our cutting plane is in the vertex, so we'll have a point. So the the resulting figure will be a point.
So if we cut the vertex, so if our vertex is cut or the uh, of vertex of our cutting plane is um, if our cutting plane is aligned or it is within the line so for example or within the generator so our result let's just draw another cone here because the above figure is now somewhat populated with lines okay this one so for example this is your generator and your cutting plane is also the generator itself so the resulting shape or the resulting section is a line so if you have two plane so which is also within the generator so you will have two intersecting two intersecting lines intersecting lines okay so a little bit uh, longer in writing the um, the names of the figure so we have this one so of this picture we, as a review so this is the axis so if two parallel lines we will have a hyperbola so the hyperbola does it need to be equal so as long as the cutting plane cuts the two parallel uh, the cuts parallel with the generator so two generators then we have the parabola here so it is it cut only one generator then we have circle perpendicular and we have the ellipse uh, this is the ellipse and uh, this is the circle so to summarize our conic section so we have one so the first one is a parabola which is actually the simplest two will be the circle and we have the ellipse and the hyperbola and we have also the so-called degenerate conic section. The conic section, they are they are conic sections, but they are sometimes uh, very uh, not included as part of the conic sections. So those ones are the degenerate conic sections. So those ones are first when we cut when the cutting plane is cutting at the vertex so we will have a point when the cutting plane when the cutting plane is within the the generator so we will have a line and if it cuts if the cutting plane is within the two generators so we will have two intersecting lines so those are uh, so we have the conic section parabola circle ellipse and we have the degenerate conic sections which are point line and intersecting lines so in the study of conic sections each one of these conic section has their own properties uh, has their own shape and also has their own um, standard and general formulas but let's try to first have the elements of each of a conic section so this is another illustration of how to have the conic section so it is much clearly drawn because it's in 3d okay so we have for example let's have a conic section okay so we have a conic section here so let's try to draw that legibly okay okay so we have this is a, si a simple parabola but whatever the elements of a conic se section discuss 
using this um, using the parabola is also applicable to uh, to the other conic sections okay so first we have let's name this line as D then we have a certain point here as uh, let's say point Q I'll just try to use another color of pen so this is um, F uh, F or F we can use a P okay P because F will be used in this one because to have more emphasis no? so and this one will be let's say this is A okay so this line this is called the directrix directrix so this is the line that corresponds to the focus which is this point so this is our focus so the directrix is the line that corresponds to our focus and the line where the focus lies and it is perpendicular to our directrix is called the principal axis principal access okay. so for example if I draw a line I guess this should be this one this Q should be aligned with our P okay so suppose I will draw okay so this one Q suppose I will draw a line from Q to P and a line also from P to F so the ratio of these two lines for example the, ra the, la the ratio of line segment FP over QP so this is the property of a conic section the ratio of these two lines FP so the line from the focus to any point of the uh, conic and the and the line from the directrix to any point of the conic so the ratio of those two lines is constant throughout the whole conic section so if for example we have another point here for example this is point R so looks like it is uh let's just go below so for example this is r then we have here to be straight uh, s so we mean create a line going to that so the ratio of these two lines so the ratio of uh, f and s over s uh, over r and s is equal also to this ratio because the ratio of those two pairs of line in any conic section is a constant and this is not what and this is now what we called as eccentricity so that what's make a conic uh, that makes a conic section unique it's in eccentricity so every conic section has its own eccentricity or have its own limit of its own of its eccentricity so for example if your eccentricity so the symbol for eccentricity is e so for example if your ex eccentricity your e is equal to one then your conic section will be a parabola parabola if your eccentricity is less than one then your conic section will be an ellipse so if your eccentricity is greater than one then your um, conic section will be a 
hyper bola so by just getting the eccentricity we can now um, predict or can now determine what is the uh, type of conic section so going back to Apollonius in his definition of a conic section so he just said that conic section is a curve formed by the intersection of a plane in a double right cone so that's what we are doing here so we are intersecting different plane and we made different sections of that then the term conic so the, the true definition of conic is a set of points whose distances from a fixed points are in a constant ratio to their distances from a fixed line that is not passing through the fixed point so by sense a conic section is a section or a shape that has constant eccentricity so because the distances from the fixed point are the ratio of the distances from a fixed point to a certain fixed point in in a conic section is constant so that's why the that is the uh, the somewhat definition of eccentricity so there you go i hope you understand or i hope you gain something um, from this video especially on the uh, the concept and the definition and also the history of conic section so this has been your guide and thank you for watching the video and continue solving